Welcome to Geek and Update. I'm Justin, and did you know that if you took out and unraveled your large and small intestines, you'd be dead? Fast and Furious Crossroads is the first installment of an ongoing series of Fast and Furious video games that will also connect to the current films. <laughs> I get it, because uh, there's roads in the name. Clever. Now, while this may seem like an underdeveloped game used to cash in on a narratively bloated franchise, the developers have assured gamers that this is an exciting addition and will stand out from the previous movies by focusing on the themes of family. Like family versus a bad guy, family versus rockets, family versus more bad guys, and the most deep, family versus self. Oh my god guys, I have a family. It's like they get me. Disney announced that the delayed live-action Mulan remake will be streamed on Disney+, Plus, but will cost subscribers $30 for premium access. While this approach has upset many fans, I know if I stay true to my heart and look at my reflection, I'll bring honor to us all to pay this overpriced fee. So let's get down to business to defeat my funds. Disney makes it harder to leave and see the sun. TikToker Caleb Levine has created a cookie channel with recipes inspired by the Lord of the Rings. The last time LOTR was this popular was during Gandalf's hashtag glow up challenge. Nestle Toll House has teamed up with Disney to release Hocus Pocus themed cookie dough just in time for fall. Fans will be excited for this bewitching dessert and extra servings will be sent to virgins who light a black flame candle. What a bummer that I don't qualify for that. <laughs> anyway, the cookie company guarantees this treat will put a spell on you as it is laced, I mean enchanted, with a special ingredient that will allow you to talk to cats, see The Walking Dead, and dance till you die! J.J. Abrams is producing a series adaptation of the book Untamed, which explores what happens when we stop striving to meet expectations. In other words, we're getting a documentary of the making of Star Wars Episode 9. Walt Disney World guests had to be evacuated from Splash Mountain recently after one of the log flumes submerged into the water. Rather than having to admit this technical gaffe, Disney has doubled down and announced that this was actually a preview of their new overlay, 2020 Mountain where you won't have control of where you're going until you quickly descend into a watery abyss. Seth Rogen's upcoming reboot of the new CG animated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles will reportedly be more of a coming-of-age story, focusing on the teenage part of the title. Knowing Rogen's love for raunchy teenage comedies, fans can expect storylines like Raphael's teenage angst problems, Leonardo trying to show April what's inside his half-shell, Michelangelo spending too much money on pizza and weed, and Splinter finding Donatello's secret of the ooze in his tube sock. National treasure Tom Hanks is in talks to play Geppetto in Disney's live-action remake of Pinocchio. This is a great choice considering Hanks is excellent at playing a warm and loving fatherly figure. Yet the search for the star to play the rebellious puppet who drinks, smokes, and acts like an ass while longing to be a real boy is TBD but my money is on the Biebs. It'd be perfect casting and he wouldn't even need to act. I can see it now. A Disney masterpiece. Fisher Price is now selling a My Home Office playset for kids three and up. It has everything an ambitious toddler needs to succeed at adulting during the pandemic. The playset comes with a headset, a coffee sipper, and an interactive laptop where they can sign into Zoom meetings, lose interest five minutes in, then mute themselves while split-screening Paw Patrol. Then, after nine mind-numbing hours, they can relieve their stress with a few shots of apple juice. Aw, they grow up so fast, don't they? The trailer for Phineas and Ferb the movie was released for its premiere later this month on Disney+. Plus. Since the original series was focused on the adventures of the boys and their pet platypus Perry over the course of their summer vacation, the theme song has been reworked based on current events. Let's take a listen. There's 104 days of summer vacation and school comes along just to end it. So the annual problem for our generation is finding a good way to spend it. Like maybe staying inside or watching TV or climbing up the couch and nap. 
Baking sourdough for the hundredth time Or giving yourself a shower Surfing the internet Creating face masks Or locating your lost control It's over here! Fighting with mom Cleaning your fridge Or driving your sister insane as you can see, there's a whole lot of stuff to do before school starts this fall. So put on your mask, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do nothing at all. So put on your face mask, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do nothing at all. Mom, Phineas and Ferb are not social distancing.